Yeah. My kids ended up on social media accidentally. This is what used to happen. Yeah. When I was in my kids, I never used to post anything. But myself, I'm very proud of my kids. Yes. And they make me happy. Yeah. So some very happy, small moments I used to just put on my Instagram story. Then guys, you say, so you just put this on YouTube. You just put this on YouTube. So one time, we were eating and vibing. And I decided to record that session. And I had it on my phone. I didn't post it anywhere. I just had different uh, conversations on my phone with them. Then I was like, we have very important conversations with my kids. What if I just share so that at least another parent can learn? A baby mama can learn that sometimes not all baby daddies are bad. I can maybe fail to be a good husband, but I can be a very good father. Sure. Okay, you can fail to be a very good wife, yeah. but you can be a very good mother. That's correct. But if only if allowed to. But then my kids, if you've watched the channel, you realize they're comedians. Let me need pants. P what? P what? Are you okay? Are you all right? Have you, have you turned 20 or 30? Nah. Isabella, 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 Isabella. Yeah. Isa baby, katoto kanapenda. <laughs> okay, that first mask dogo is not good for this space. <laughs> okay. I do gospel. I have oh. gospel jams as well. You sa yeah, you sang in yeah. it. Yes, yes. Can I you have sing as three. Jesus Christ is a superstar. That's your song. Yes, so is superstar. Yeah, that's my song. Okay. Many <laughs> people have been doubting our Father. What they don't know. He be greater than no other. Hakuna mungu kama yeye. Like I said, when the year is starting, before this year ends, I want a house in Nairobi, I want a Range Rover, and I want Ambare. Okay? I put them and I strategized. And I was like, if I get a house in Nairobi, I can take care of Ambare. If I get a Range Rover, I can carry Ambare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, una, 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 it's, it's a yeah. vision. So it's a plan. it's a plan. So mwaka ikisha na nimepata Range Rover, sina nyumba niko like Ambare ngoje kitu. Unaona? Nikipata nyumba na Range Rover nasema oh saiza Ambare anytime. Ambare unasikia? You yes. know the target. So, Next yes. Maybe, yes. So un, unapanga mikakati. Yeah. Okay. To Hello. give a real asshole, it's you. Yes. You've gone through it, you have done it all and I seen have. it all. Uh, I've been a watchman for one night, Nikatoroka Yokazi. Um, found myself in National Theatre. Uh, in between, uh, there was a show every Friday on National Theatre called The Factory Club, done by Kenya Performing Arts Group. So I used to pass by there doing music, dancing. Somehow I conformed into MCing, and that's where I learned how to MC. And from there, I started meeting other people, the likes of Fredo Mondi and the rest. Then we started going to the club shows in town, meeting more people. So the more I was doing the club shows, comedy and everything, now I was learning and evolving from music to comedy to MCing. Then I was discovered in a club uh, by QFM, got a job in QFM as an intern, stayed for a while. Then Easy FM came along. Then now, from then, I've just been bouncing. Around this time, also met Kajairo. Did Kajairo music comedy. Then I did uh, comedy club. Then break time show. All of these were TV shows on NTV. Break time show. Then did offside on NTV. Then a bit of appearances on Churchill show. So it's always just been that. It's just been about 10, 11 years of constant reinvention, uh, making mistakes, learning from them, improving. Yeah. And never giving up. You know, sometimes when people see someone like you as successful as young as you are, yeah. they may not understand. They think you are born with a silver platter. Nope. You know? Mm. The, and you, did you say you are half Nigerian, half Kenyan? Obina is. How is that? Obina is a brand. So different brands identify differently. Mm -hmm. So Obina, the brand, when it started during that time, the Nigerian uh, craze was so huge in Kenya, like from Afro cinema movies to everything, so everybody was going the Nigerian way. And then most of the comedians that I was working around were doing tribalis tribalistic content. Yeah. As lawyers, as kikuyus, as kambas, as lawyers, which is not bad because yeah, that's what I identify yeah, with. Yeah. But I wanted to do something different. 
So that's how I came up with Brad Obina, which was half Nigerian, half Kenyan. So I can understand Kiswahili, I can understand uh, Igbo and Pidgin, then I you find the balance in between. But uh, there's somewhere I read online yeah. on your biography that your mom being a Igbo and your dad being a Luo, is that true? Forget what you read online. Oh, that's write a lot of things. They just assume. Actually, sometimes you even yeah, speak yeah. like uh, one of those Igbos. So That's the brand. That's Obina. Oh, great. Obina is half Nigerian, half Kenyan. So if someone asks me who is Obina, I'll tell you who Obina is. Obina is half Nigerian, half Kenyan. And now I ask get me, who you. are you? It's Who's true. the guy behind Obina? Yeah. Then I tell you there is Steve. Yeah. Okay. He's that is the Magana. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, um, Obina today, where you, I keep on referring you to Obina, because yes, what people yeah, know. Yeah, that's what people know. So, yeah. they are not used to Magana. I don't want them to get used to Magana. <laughs> I, want, I want them to attack Obina, love Obina, because Magana is my safe space. Exactly. So, they have no business getting in that safe space. Yes. So, no Obina, hate on Obina, do whatever with Obina. But now, when you get to Steve, that's a very different... If I would be asked, your plate is like that, that's of a flow. I see you online at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I'm yep. like, this is a single dad yep. who has a kind of job like this when you are saying it's unpredictable. Yep. You must for the next six yeah. months. Yeah, I'm a you are shooting the whole night. You must you are shooting the whole night. You must say yes whenever someone is available. Like today we're leaving here at around 4 a.m. Yeah, I so saw you yeah, guys today sending. we have like eight guests and each guest wow. is talking for like two to three hours. Wow. So, so anyway, with that kind of uh, program, how how is your day like how do you manage and you have also people even at work to manage you have homes to manage yes. you have office you have to look even for the people to interview and all that how is your day like scheduling yeah so I wake up at five the kids get up they prepare i chill on my bed i buy time <laughs> then when they're ready they've had breakfast they always come say hi they take shower they prepare they dress up they have breakfast and then i drop them to school you drop them? Yes, every morning apart from Tuesday because Mondays we shoot until like 4 or 3 a.m. So Tuesday is normally my off day, morning hours. Yeah. Yes. So I drop them to school uh, before 7. Then I go to the gym. Then after the gym, I get into the day's uh, shugulis. If it's meeting, shoot, anything. Now that comes after the gym. Now that one, I feel my day is aligned. Uh, our job is very unpredictable, so I try to organize mine and plan. I don't hope, I strategize. I always tell people, even my team members, hope is not a strategy. I'll not hope to get a like phone call. That. If I get, good. But if I don't get, I still have my plans, and my plans will still happen the way I plan them. Yeah. So I always know, for example, Tuesday is my day off because on Monday the shoot go until late. So I'll sleep in on Tuesday, wake up around 9 or eight, depends time of Singizi Meisha, then I might go to the gym in the morning or in the evening. But now I start planning my week, what's going to happen and everything. Wednesday until Saturday is always bumper to bumper. Because from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you get gigs. And sometimes Sunday, I'm home with the kids, or sometimes not. But any little time that I get when I'm with my kids, we'll either watch a movie, play, talk, and Take always try and have I dinner together. Yeah, yeah, out we normally go on Sundays, but it's tricky because sometimes I don't have all the kids. So it depends on the moods of the baby mama. When you have baby mama gives the kids, if she doesn't, because uh, also uh, when I go with these other two, yeah, the other two feel left out because yeah. they'll see on their YouTube channel or yeah. they'll they communicate and they say, well, your dad will be like out, then the others will feel bad. So sometimes you're forced not to take these other two out because you're waiting to have them all together. To balance. And when you have all of them together, you don't have time. Or if you have time and all of them together, you don't have the money. <laughs> so it's complicated. So we try as much. That's why when I have them, I maximize. Wow. When I have my kids, we'll play, we'll go and the out, kids, we'll do the whatever. kids that you drop to school in the morning, do yeah. you pick them up or someone else? No, does? no, no, school bus. Oh, the school, school bus. School drops them back because yeah. when I drop them in the morning, you don't know how my day is going to be. So I'll not guarantee to be back. But I see you even sometimes having dinner with them. When do you go? Do you leave you the work to. and school go? plan. Wow. Yes, if I have a free time, I'll pay for my kids. Okay, this is how my free time works. When yeah. I'm free, yeah. I'm either in the house yeah. by myself watching a movie. Yes. I'm in the house with my kids yeah. or I'm in the gym or I'm in the studio creating music. Music? Yes. You are sometimes uh, recording your music. Yes. 
That, you're already a musician. Yes, I've been for the last, I don't know how many years. Okay, so yes. what is the latest record? The latest song is Isabella, coming out next Friday. Uh, I've done it with King Fizzle. Uh, the video I was sent last night, I previewed the first cut. It was supposed to come on the 1st of March, but directors and producers, yeah, so that's where we are. So in that song, you wouldn't want to share now? No. Before it's out, maybe you can give us like a kahint and... Uh... Isabella, 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 baby. Katoto kanapenda. <laughs> okay, that first mask dogo is not good for this space. <laughs> okay. However, this is what most people don't understand. Yeah. There's Obina, there's Ogadi Top. Yeah. Ogadi Top is a musician. In music, as an artist, you are Kyocha Jami, you project, you nini what's in the society. So some people will see my music and will think that is who I am. No. That's what some people will see Obina and think that is who I am. No. Obina is a comedian, funny guy, ha ha ha. Ogadi Top is a musician. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know, bad boy, you know, every day. Yeah. But now there's Steve. Now we strike the balance. So as a musician, I can sing about anything. You know, because I'm just... Including gospel. Yeah, I do gospel. I have oh. gospel jams as well. You, yeah. you sang in it? Yes, yes. Can I you have sing a stanza? Three. Jesus Christ is a superstar. That's your song. Yes, so is superstar. Yeah, that's my song. Okay. Many <laughs> people have been doubting our father. What they don't know. He be greater than no other. Hakuna mungu kama ye ye. Yeah. That's so God, the musician. Yeah, yeah. So there are different people and we just mirror this set. Yeah. Wow. So check out Isabella coming through. Wow. Next Friday. Yep. Viewers, Isabella is coming next Friday. Let's yeah. support your yeah. Let's all move on and listen to Oga. He's a great dad, great musician, great That's comment. Right the comedy part in the Osija. I've been doing comedy for the last 11 years. No, 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 no. They've not paid for the jokes. Listen. <laughs> If you don't know that I'm a comedian, you're not my target audience. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because my target audience Wana are young jua. urban professionals. Yeah. Ni na mi watu nijua, toka mm. ni stand-up comedy. Even now I can still do it. It's just that the platform that we used to do is Ayaya, the one that's not there. You have the society and everyone looking at you and negatively. Why? What you should be doing? This is what should yep. have happened. Never happened. Out of your experience, because now we are looking at your experience, yes. and uh, you are person ways on the social media all along. Yeah. How are you handle able to handle children online and the influence of social media? Okay. Because so, they can even go to school. Oh, I saw you online. Blah blah. Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, they have their fan base. How does it affect? Yeah. Okay. They've, it could be fun, and it can also still also affect. Yeah, 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 it can and mm -hmm. it does, but yeah. my kids ended up on social media accidentally. This is what used to happen. Yeah. When I was in my kids, I never used to post anything, but myself, I'm very proud of my kids yes. and they make me happy. Yeah. So some very happy, small moments I used to just put on my Instagram story. Then guys will say, so you just put this on YouTube, you just put this on YouTube. So one time we were eating and vibing and I decided to record that session and I had it on my phone. I didn't post it anywhere. I just had different uh, conversations on my phone with them. Then I was like, we have very important conversations with my kids. What if I just share so that at least another parent can learn? A baby mama can learn that sometimes not all baby daddies are bad. I can maybe fail to be a good husband, but I can be a very good father. Sure. Okay, you can fail to be a very good wife, yeah. but you can be a very good mother. That's correct. But if only if allowed to. Yes. And only if you know what to Given do. Given the opportunity. Opportunity and then yeah. also you know what to do. What to do. So let people learn. Then also some kids will look at my kids the way they relate and go like, ah, Kumbaya parents are not supposed to be your enemies. If they vibe like this with their father, let me also try with my father and my mom and whatever. You see? And my kids as well kept on telling me, Dad, we are on a YouTube channel because they, they watch me. They're my fans. But I've seen even maybe other kids. Yes, yeah. they watch me all the time. Yeah. They're like, Dad, we, can we have? So one day I was like, ah, it's, it's okay. By the way, this is going to be a first episode on your YouTube. And I just created and I put. And it got massive views. And guys were like, we want a more. A good want comment, more. yeah. Good, we want more. I'm their so follower. I, yes. I so may I, not be so much on yeah, you at, yeah, on the Obina show, but on your kids' show, I am a yeah. follower. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I had a conversation with them and I told them, guys, like this, do we do more? They're like, yes, yes, we want to do more. And they liked it. And since then, it's just always been like that. Then my kids, if you've watched the channel, you realize they're comedians. Let me read P, what? P, what? Are you okay? Are you all right? Are you, have you turned 20 or 30? No. Nah. You're not a grown-up You even started. You need to turn 58. <laughs> I mean, that is not the answer. Even you're not but even in case of any emergency, you go shoot it. Oh, yeah, I can't even hear you. Then they are happy souls. Then also they pass through a lot of traumatizing moments. Uh, with my last baby mama when we were together. Yeah. So they all saw. They, they were all there. Yeah. They saw. Yeah. So I'm always trying to be like the therapy session because like Ada took a while to heal and she's finally coming out of her shell. Yeah. Ada used to just sit back and, and yeah. watch. She was very guarded and protected yeah. and she feared experimenting. Yeah. Lola is a free spirit. Yeah. Brianna also was, Brianna is very emotional. Yeah. So she used to have those moments of crying and everything. Yeah. Then Liron was very protective of every other thing that happens because she was a bit more mature so she yeah, would understand yeah. a couple of things. Exactly. Very observant. Yes, yes. So with time, when, when, when they realize everything is happening and I also noticed it, I decided to be their therapy session. So if you watch their channel, you realize they're also normally very excited about it. And some episodes, we, we don't even plan. Apart from the games, <laughs> we sit down, they'll ask me something. I'm like, hey, what did you say? Hey, we repeat. I did that, nini. You, what did you? Then it just becomes a whole episode yeah. of just something they ask in from two. Yes. Or some moments are just having a good time. Then I give my pee and my phone. I'm like, just record this one. Then we continue with the vibe. Yeah. Yeah, so it's always just been like that, but it was very accidental, but it worked out nicely. However, we have people who view it differently. We have people who like it, we have people who don't like it. Which is normal. Which is okay. Yeah. The same way, kuna msa na pena nyamachoma na kuna msa ya pini nyamachoma. Yeah. Kuna watu it doesn't mean nyamachoma siyo tamu. Hata kuna mtu wana kuchukia tu just because exactly. you are over. Exactly, kuna mtu wana kuchukia tu venye unapumua. <laughs> Nasema hiki yeah. kimutu usipendi tu venye kinakanga. I know. Na kujui. Akujui. Then kuna mtu pia na kupenda tu. Yeah. Na kujui. Nasema mina mpendanga tu. Yeah. I just like the way he is or the way he dresses or whatever. So that's also allowed. Then the kids with their friends in school, somehow they have some people who really like what they do. We watched you. No, 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 no. So they've had that one and it excites them. So, I, so on the effect part, it could be positive. And whatever you have talked about is positive. Yes. I also take it very positively yeah. because actually even other dads can learn even how to yes. interact with their kids, yes. even girls, because they are dads who cannot even be close to their girls. Yes. And maybe they don't even know the best parent to be close to the girls is the dad. Yep. The dad can make a girl to be very confident, believe in themselves. Like you were saying, your girls now, they are very confident just yep. because you believe in them. Yes. And it's not very easy actually to, to cheat on someone like that because True. she already understands herself and my dad believes in me. I can tell my dad and then my dad can listen. That's a very good thing. True. Now I was asking, because this is social media, is there anything like, you know, they could also feel we are celebs. Maybe they can affect the academic. They, you know, how... If, how, if, if yeah. you watch my channel, you know, me, I'm a very strict dad. Yeah. So apart from social media, we also even have posted some, some discipline moments where Muda Mikunyana Great Zimbaya, it's on their YouTube. Yeah, their yeah. YouTube is very, <laughs> let me say, uncut. Yes. We don't filter out at it. Now, you know, we just want to show the good side. We show bad Uncensored. sides. We show the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm -hmm. We sit down sometimes to Nakosana. I'm like, no, I didn't like this. Why did you do this? And when they perform well, I reward them. So that's the way we are parenting. Of course, fame gets to everybody's head. But I had to condition them and yeah. teach them. So when it started, they used to look at the views and the comments. I removed that. Oh. I told them, if you do something and you like it, forget who viewed it. Forget who, who is saying what. Yeah. If you feel good, I'm a firm believer of doing a good thing because it's good, not because you want a reward. I'm a firm believer of if you're a Christian, be a good Christian because you want to be a good Christian, not because you want to go to heaven or not because you don't want to go to hell. If you're a Muslim, be a good Muslim, not because you don't want to go to or because you want to go to if you are a pagan or an atheist or wherever, just be because you want to. The same thing I also do with my channel. My channel, the only time we look at the views is when we're looking at the analytics because are we progressing? Are we improving? Yeah. Because I'm, I've employed people. Exactly. And they expect to be paid. And is it making yeah. sense? I mean, yeah. we should try something else. Yeah. 
but we don't look at the views like, ah, oh, this views because the minute you condition yourself like that, your happiness will be determined by external factors. So I had to condition my kids. I'm like, because most of the episodes we shoot, they are not planned. We just talk the way we normally talk in the house, and it goes as an episode. If you like it, good. If you don't like it, good. We felt good while doing it, and that is how we live, and we are moving on. Wow. We go outside, people always say hi to them. Hi, Lola, whatever. People nowadays, they don't call, they don't call me Obina anymore. Hi, Baba Lola. Hi, Baba Lola. I'm like, come on, man. When you see me alone, I'm busy. I'm when I'm with the kids is when... I'm Baba <laughs> Yeah, so... so it got to a point where they're like, oh my God. I was like, no, 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 no. They will like you, but it does not mean that you're special. It's true. So don't feel like you're special than any other person. No, you just have a gift and other people are, are appreciating it. So be kind and don't let it get to your head. Yeah. You still need education. Yeah. Because even whatever, I know what they want to do. Yeah. Because like Adala wants to do a lot of beauty stuff and everything. Yeah. That's what she likes. Which is fine. She sees herself as a queen yeah she calls herself slave with the queen. nails I yes saw her putting so the nails, that yeah. is ada yes brianna is a dancer yeah she likes to dance and everything yeah let her do that lola is an actor and a dancer and an acrobat let her do that yeah liron is a fitness uh, enthusiast yeah kickboxing flips and everything yeah and every and gaming yes let him do that but while you do that you need education to improve on the knowledge you have because imagine you're very talented and you lack education so I try to make them understand that and understand that apart from you being that superstar, you're also a human being and you're also someone's son. Yeah. And later in life, you'll be someone's father or yeah. mother. Yeah. So you have to embody all that. Or and they're taking it okay. Wow. Yeah, 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 they're wow. taking it okay. So far, so good. I think that's great. With all you're doing, where do you think you want to see yourself in the next five years? Because you are strategists. You told me you plan things. Where yeah, do you yeah. want to see yourself? Where do you think? With your music, with your comedy, okay. with your show, so, and the parenting also? Yeah, so what I normally do, I never like to go with that idea for where do I see myself in the next five years. Mm -hmm. Because life happens. I might be there, I might not be there. Yeah. So I never like to overthink situations. Yes. So I'll put in the work. Yeah. And I'll have the work ethic and the discipline. Yes. But I'll do it now. So whatever will happen in the next five years will be... A byproduct of what I've done now, with or without me. I'll be present for my kids now because if I'm not there tomorrow, I want them to look and say, "Hey, our dad was late, man." He did something. You see, I want to be good uh, host to my guests because the next two three years, when I'm not there, they say, "Hey, Obina used to call us for interview. Interview used to laugh, man. It was beautiful. It was a safe space. It was therapeutic. We used to open." and feel vulnerable. And the viewers to go like, hey, this interview Bina did, no, no, I was like, who is here in 2032? I'm here in 2032, Mazay, click, click like whatever, because it is that one. So the success I get, whether financially or any other, is a byproduct of me living and enjoying the journey. The destination is vast. When I was an office messenger, I didn't know I would be seated here. But I wanted to be on TV and radio. I knew what I wanted to do. And I'm doing it. And I'm having fun while doing it. So I'm not more of a destination person. I'm more of a journey person. I'm enjoying the journey, living the journey. Where I am in the next five years, I don't know. But I have strategies and plans that I'm going this direction. My direction is this. Like I said, when the year is starting, before this year ends, I want a house in Nairobi. I want a Range Rover. And I want Ambare. Okay? I put them and I strategized. And I was like, if I get a house in Nairobi, I can take care of Ambare. If I get a Range Rover, I can carry Ambare. So it's a plan. So Mwaka Ikisha, Nani me pata Range Rover, Sina Nyumba Nikola Kambare and Gojikito. Unona. Niki pata nyumba na Range Rover and Nasema oh Saiza Ambare anytime. Ambare unasikia, you yes. know the target. So, Next yes. five years. So, un, unapanga mikakati. Okay? But now, also another thing that most people don't understand. When I say Ambare, I might not just mean Ambare, Ambare. Symbolic. Eggs. <laughs> Finally, someone whose brain is open. <laughs> what Wakili is Lala. Yeah. She is symbolic. Why? It's true. Apart from being beautiful and being an entrepreneur and a hard worker, she's a very good mother. Yeah. 
and she's a very good wife. Yes. Maybe it's symbolic to what I'm looking for. And you know, say beauty is... Uh, the eyes of the beholder. Exactly. Yeah. There's someone who look at a man and go like, ah. What is it? There's a woman who go like, ah. She's so brief. it depends. Yeah. Yes. So I have plans, but the objective. So if I don't get a Range Rover, I'll get the next thing next to a Range Rover. But it is the journey I'm enjoying. Oh. But I have... Wow. You see. Thank you so much, Oga Obina. Thank you for so, having me. So, just the last one. Okay. What is it that really drives you to do all this or what you do? Poverty. Because kila mutu akona kitu ina mskumanga. Poverty. Hati ni nini? Poverty. I see poverty. No, see, that's what drives oh, me. Yeah. I don't want to go back to being oh, where I was. Yeah. I don't want to go back to the village. I don't want to go back to the street. Yeah. Staki ni fungiwe nyumba tena. Staki ni kaya tinikisikia njasi hezi kula lunch. So that is what drives me. So sometimes I feel like I don't want to do something, but I have to do it. And the poverty, I don't want it to my kids. I don't want my kids to go through. I always tell them sometimes, Dad, watch Dad, are you serious? Nini? I'm like... By the way, I see your kids. Even there are some young Kenyans who see you now on yeah. being a show, they think you have been there. That's no, why today but, I wanted them to hear your story. Yeah, yeah. But those are external people. Yeah. Those, whether they believe or they don't, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But my kids... I want them to sit down and go like, hey, dad, I'll to peleka place ali somea. Dad, I'll to shago wakin a dad. Dad, I'll find a dad, I'll to find a jiggers. My kids don't even know what jiggers are. They're like, ati jiggers. Ati kitu na kuinge kwa bubu, haje. They don't understand. My kids, they sit like this. Blue band, ikisha nishida. Dad, there's no blue band. I'm like, what do you mean? Ajui siya lazima ukwe na several pairs of shoes. We unasema, sisi yata kupata mkate ilikuwa nishida. Ulikuna zapata once in a blue moon. Patana na ugali unapita. Hata uyo ugali ilikuwa nishida. Ukipata ugali muna shukuru. Ugali na umena, yu siku njini ni mabosi. Ilikuwa ni uji na rabuoni, maindi na uji, ugali na skuma sometimes, na pia nilu ugali ya brown ama ili ya yellow. Like they don't understand. There's a time I brought the yellow maize. They didn't understand. Da, nini ugali gani? Mwapaka food kala kwa ugali. So them, they don't know. But you have to make them understand. However, I don't want them to go through the suffering I went through because I already suffered for them. I'm their Jesus. I went to the cross for them. Now, why would they suffer and I'm there? So I will work hard, as hard as I can, as long as I'm alive. Wow. So that where I am, mi nataka nikikapa, watutu wangu wameka hapa. Chenye wow. nakula, wanakula. Chenye nava, wanava. I'm happy, they're happy. If they're not happy, I find out what, why, and I try and... Wow. That is what is driving me until now. Wow. Viewers... You must be driven by something. Whatever you do, may you be a cameraman, may you, what, what drives you? Everyone has what drives them. I have what drives me. That's a story for another day. Maybe you know I'm what drives good. me? Yeah. Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you.